Hey guys, it's Cassie Ocker Gamer, and I am back with another simulator game. This is the Supermarket Simulator. This is the full release. I bought the full game. It is still in early access, so there's probably going to be plenty of bugs. But I thought we would check it out and see how this one is. My goal is to play the game like the way it's meant to be played, but maybe do some ridiculous things along the way. Just kind of see how far we can push it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, you'll start with a small store and grow to an awesome supermarket. Start by purchasing goods to sell and place them on the shelves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know how this goes. It's like the grocery store simulator thing. Okay, so what we need to do is order goods. So, market, what do we want to sell? We only have $50. Ooh, that's difficult. Um, let's sell flour. And well, let's just sell as much as we can. Okay, I think that's probably good. Purchase. Now what? Oh, there's our goods. Oh, they're all nicely stacked up. Before we do that, let's go ahead and rearrange some things. Let's go ahead and rearrange some things. Why can't I pick this up? Can I pick this up? Okay, so I can pick this up. Can't pick that up for some reason. I can't pick those up either. Huh, interesting. I wonder why we can't pick those up. We'll just put this, where's this go? Oh, there's a trash can. That is convenient. That is convenient. I guess we're not gonna be hoarding our boxes in this one. This looks so good. I am impressed. All right, that's all of our goods. We still can't pick these up. I don't know why. Okay, let's set the prices for things. Uh, the market price is for something. We're just going to round everything down for right now. And we're going to do whole numbers for everything because... I do not want to deal with cash, or change, I should say. So yeah, we are going to round everything down. Open store. Yeah, we can't move these shelves. Huh. I wonder if they do that so you can't fuck it up like I was trying to. Just bread change why are we paying with so much money uh how do i approve okay thank you goodbye hello can i help you with anything what are you getting just bread card okay what's the total oh three dollars I should have tried to see if I could charge them more. I'll do that next time I have a credit card come through, which would be now. Can we round this up to $10? No, they won't let you. They thought about that. Um, change. Change, $1. Okay. What is this guy getting? Bread and flour, six, oops, six dollars. We are doing good, doing good. What is that over there? Oh, it just says locked. We have almost made our money back-ish, kind of, not really. We're still pretty far behind. Let's see if we can get customers to come in. Hello, yes, hello, would you like to buy something? Oh, and another customer? That's great. How far, can we walk around? Can we just... How far can we walk around? Oh wow, we can go pretty far in this little city. Huh, I should, guess I should get back to my store. Eight dollars. 
change for there we go we're gonna have to order more uh, stuff soon look at this guy walking in in a tux what could he possibly need seven dollars um one dollar I guess he bought cereal. Let me move this back here. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong way. I thought that looked a little weird. There we go. I still... Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we can move this. Just put it right up against the wall there. I don't know why we couldn't move it before. Can we move these now? Yes. Okay. So. We're going to do some funky stuff. I'll wait till she gets her stuff and then... I want to see how far we can kind of push this. Okay. Put that there. Now we have this little like hallway kind of thing. Oh, look at those shoes. Those are some fancy shoes. So my plan is to just keep putting the shelves like this and maybe make like a little maze or something so they have to walk through the whole thing. And I can't see my stock or anything, so I'm just kind of, I have to kind of guess if there's stuff left. I like this setup. I think it works out well. I'm not sure how convenient it is for everybody. But I like the setup. We've made our money back and then some, so that's good. Let me see if we need more stock. Yes, we do. Let's just buy everything. Change zero dollars. Okay, so we bought more stuff. Let's close the shop for a minute so we can unpack everything. It is getting dark. Do we not have lights in in here? It is very dark in our store. I guess we don't have lights. I mean I don't know what to do with how dark it is. Oh, wait, are these the lights? There we go. Okay, I was going to say, like, damn. Price is... Oh, good, the price doesn't reset on these. That is awesome. That is very helpful and convenient. Press enter to finish the day. No, we are open 24-7, baby. Give people... Come, come on in, people. We're open late night. You've got all of your grocery needs. Do I have to finish the day? Is that a thing I have to do? Okay. Press enter. Oh, I do have to finish the day for the statistics and stuff. Okay. Um, so 17 customers, but I, this is, this looks good, I guess. You receive daily bills starting today. What? No. Make sure to pay the bills using your computer before the due date or they'll be paid automatically. How do I know how much the bills are? Is it under management? Whoa, okay. What is this? What does all this mean? I don't know what all this means. All bills are paid, all rents are paid. Okay, so I guess we haven't received the bills yet. All right, so let's open our store up. First customer of the day. I think I'm actually going to move these a little bit. What I'm going to do is... 
I'm going to kind of change how we have our little corridor. I don't know what that guy is looking for. I'm going to put these here. And then as we get more shelves, I'll probably move them around a little bit more. Yeah, as we get more shelves, what I'll do is I'll put another shelf here and then another one here and then another one here and just have it snake around. But right now we only have two shelves, so we can't really do that. And I kind of need to be able to see the stock because that is a little important. Okay, we've almost reached our objective of performing 25 checkouts. I do not know what happens when we meet that objective, but we'll see. All right, one more checkout. And I think it'll be this customer. Okay. So we reached our objective. Now what? Purchase a product license using computer. Well, I think uh, I recall seeing the product licenses and the cheapest one was like 200, I think. So we don't have enough money for that yet. Let me double check. Licenses, yeah, 200 was the cheapest. I don't know what it'll what it does, but uh, we are out of flour. Our store is kind of a mess, but that's all right. Um, we need to get more bread. Okay, got bread. And we're starting to get a line. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, my goal for this day, I want to I would like to be able to get a license before we close the store for the day. So, I just need 50 more dollars. Oh, I guess we have to finish the day. Okay, so we weren't able to get the license on this day, but maybe we'll get it on the next one. Okay, open the store. I'm going to increase the price of cereal just to $6, just to see. Because that's only like two cents more than the market price. Okay, people will buy it, so it's not that expensive then. Okay, I'm going to work on getting enough money to buy a license, and then I'll be right back. Okay. So I finally have enough. I had to pay rent and stuff, so it took a little longer than I wanted it to. But we are able to purchase a license. I don't know what that means. What does a license mean? That there's new products available. Okay, what are the new products? I need a fridge, furniture. Where do I get a fridge from? A fridge is 200. Well, I can't afford a fridge right now so we're just gonna have to wait on that oh I can't afford anything right now okay we are going to finish out the day oh market prices changed so the powdered sugar the price of the powdered sugar went down what else went down? Does it tell me what else went down? No. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is work on getting uh, a fridge and stuff. Yeah. I need to get some money and then we need to order more stock. Okay, I have enough now to replenish my stock Purchase that. Now we're broke again, but that's okay. Finally got coffee, which was something a lot of people were looking for. And we got tea, which was also something people were looking for. We're making our money back fast now with that coffee and tea. 
We just need to get to 200 so we can purchase a fridge and buy eggs and milk and stuff like that. So I will go and do that and I will be back in a second. Okay, we now have enough to purchase a fridge and I'm gonna do that before we end the day. So fridge, single unit. Oh, it's closed after nine. So we can't do that right now, but that's what we will do in the morning. So we will buy the fridge now and we need some cereal. Oh, I don't have enough to buy a fridge and cereal, so we'll just buy the fridge. And we'll put it right there, which is super inconvenient. Purchase a new section using your computer to expand your store. Uh, we do not have enough money to do that. But we did get the fridge. Um, we're almost out of stock on a lot of things so that is something we'll have to get enough money for to restock but yeah i think this is probably a good place to end it for this episode of supermarket simulator if you guys enjoyed this please leave a comment below to let me know you liked it be sure to come back for more videos by me almost every day and i will see you guys next time in my little supermarket bye <laughs>